and now we're going back to the drawers as I said I stripped the entire dressing table including the drawers because I wanted to see if there was any chance of saving them I just wanted to be sure that the damage that was there was actually the veneer and not just the finish on top of the veneer and then once I'd cleaned off the stripper using the steel wool and the mineral spirits I then sanded down the drawers with that 120 grit sandpaper And then when you have a look, a close look at the drawers, you can just see all the cracks, the pieces of veneer that are missing, especially along the edges, it look, it's really sort of worn out and it's, it's quite apparent that unless I replace the veneer, there is going to be no saving it so I have another plan for the draw fronts but to execute that plan I need to fill in all those holes um, all the damage all the cracks I need a smooth surface to work on so yeah, I might have gone a little overboard with the wood filler, but I wanted to be safe rather than sorry. Good old Stuart giving me a, a helping hand, sand back 90% of the wood filler that I put on there. A couple that sands together stays together. Isn't that what they say? And now that most of that wood filler has been sanded off, I'm just taping off uh, the draw edges, giving those drawers a coat of the same Zinza primer. and sanding in between coats with 400 grit sandpaper. And the colour I'm painting these drawers is the colour Hive by Cornish Milk Mineral Paint. And it's like a uh, mustardy, yeah, oh, it actually matches my top. Yep, it's the same, it's the same colour as my top, mustard yellow. So I gave the drawers three coats in total to get a, a good even coverage. And once I had that base coat down, I then went in with the wallpaper that I had wanted to use. And that's why I chose the hive as the base colour to complement the wallpaper. So once I've got an idea of the amount of paper I'll need for the two drawer fronts, so these two drawers sit 
on the same side of the dressing table one above the other and I want the pattern on the wallpaper to match when the drawers are shut so I need to measure out the placement of the paper on the top and bottom drawer so that they are aligned And just pressing round the edges to get a, an indent in the paper where the edge is. And folding it over here to get it right up to the edge. And the reason it was a little bit trickier with these drawers is that they had a small lip so I wasn't cutting to the edge of the drawers it was slightly smaller than that so it had to fit in the lip normally if there isn't a lip on the drawers I would just run the blade along the edge of the drawers so that the paper cuts in line but because I've got this I must have been about two mil lip that I need the paper to fit inside. I'm just trying to size my paper up correctly to fit inside there. And just using a, a blade to run along the edge of the lip to cut the paper to size. What I'm doing here is I know that the drawer is going to sit one below the other so I want the pattern to follow on so when the drawers are closed the pattern lines up so all I'm doing here is I'm using that um, top drawer which I've cut out to measure where I need to place the paper for the drawer underneath so that it lines up. I'm not doing any sort of technical measuring or yeah anything mathematical this is I'm doing this purely on eye I just find it easier to do that way then I just follow the exact same process that I did for the previous straw To glue it down I like to use Mod Podge. I find that works really well for um, sticking wallpaper to furniture and acting as a decoupage medium.
once I've uh, pressed the wallpaper down I like to go over it with the cloth just to remove any uh, Mod Podge that might have squeezed out and to flatten out any bubbles that may have appeared as well. I like to let the drawers, the paper on the drawers dry and then go in with a thin layer of Mod Podge just to seal it in and then I let that dry fully as well and then I might do um, one more coat of Mod Podge before I finish it off with a uh, varnish that I would be using on the rest of the furniture piece. I just find that gives it the best protection and also seals in that paper around the edges so it won't start lifting or peel away or um, even if, say, your customer catches their nail on the paper, the the layers of Mod Podge and then the varnish on top will add really good protection so that just doesn't rip the paper if something like that happens. And here we're just reattaching the original handles to the drawers. They were brass, so um, Stuart managed to bring them up really nicely with the linishing wheel um, and polish them off and they look amazing, like brand new. Um, so if you have uh, brass hardware on your old pieces of furniture, definitely try and clean them up. It's, it's well worth it. To condition the inside of the drawers we're using Howard Feed and Wax. Um, this does a really great job of reinvigorating wood and it smells amazing. It's a sort of an orange blossom smell and you can see there it just brings the colour back into the wood and adds, adds a sheen to it. A little reminder of the before. And the after. We really love how this one turned out and I hope that you enjoyed um, the two-part video series on how we transformed this dressing table. This has got to be one of our most popular um, pieces that we've had for sale. We've had a lot of commission inquiries off the back of this piece. Um, we hope that you enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing. Um, if you found this at all helpful or interesting, please consider sharing it with your family and friends and we will see you on the next video. Bye.